What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over Leak Code 690 Employee Importance. Now, I'm not sure why there were so many downvotes for this one, but this is a pretty standard BFS graph traversal. They gave us a custom class that has a ID importance per employee and then a list of integers who are that employee subordinates. I drew the graph for the given example and this is pretty much what it looks like. Employee one has a value of five and he has employees two and three as his subordinates. So employee one has val two and three as a subordinate. So he has two and three as subordinates. These guys each have a value of three. So the question asks, if I give you an ID, tell me the value, the total value of that person and all the subordinates um, below them. Okay, so this is going to be solved using BFS, of course, a queue, and we'll be making use of two hash maps, one for the adjacency list of a graph and one for the importance, because when we're iterating in the, B in the BFS loop, I need to keep track of how much each employee is valued. So let's get into it. So the first thing is going to be a map of uh, integers in the list of integers. This is going to be the total map, which is the adjacency list. And then I'm going to have a map of values, which is pretty much going to be like employee 1 has 5, 2 has 3, 3 has 3. And this one is just going to be the adjacency list. We should all know what that is. OK. So now we have four. Um, employee E through EMP. We're going to have map dot put e comma e dot get is it get no it's going to be e dot sub luckily it's his uh cl the class is <clears throat> made of a list of integers for the subordinates and then it's going to be value we're going to be dot put e comma e dot importance oh e dot id is the rest sorry e dot id comma e dot id so this is going to build the two maps that we need now we can get into the iteration so list uh, a, a queue a queue queue of integers queues new linked list as the instantiate instantiation of it and then let's add q dot add Okay, so the, they want a result at the end, right? So let's actually make a um, int res. So this is gonna be z initialized as zero. This is what we're gonna return at the end. Q dot add um, ID. So this is gonna be the source origin. And then res is gonna be incremented by map dot, not map, value. We have a value map now. So let's just get into it. value dot get ID. Now, while, okay, and we also need a visited set because this is a binary BFS, so set integer viz for visited is new hash set. But you guys are smart, you already knew that. While Q is not empty, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull each one. So int a T is gonna be Q.pull. And um, I wonder if I should add it here. No, the first one has already been added, so I don't think I should add it in there. Q.pull should be for int j through uh, t map. OK, no, 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 map dot get t. What I'm doing right here is I'm popping the first, the, I'm pulling the first person in the queue, then going through that person's list of employees. And if 
it's not visited. Then I will add q dot add j set or viz viz I called it viz right let's, let's call it yeah viz dot add j I add viz in there and then I'm also going to increment result by value from the value map dot get j so that's the if loop that's the for loop that's a while loop what this ensures is that I'm not visiting any more employees than I need to I get all the values that I need and I increment res and then I just have to return res okay and that's pretty much how you solve leak code 690 uh, if you made it through the video, congratulations and thank you. If you liked the video, please subscribe, like, and comment below on whatever you want to see. Thanks.